What is going on guys? Imagine that you had a sick cold start here. The camera didn't want to record any audio, but we're going to jump into it. We're getting the S550 aligned today because the camber, the tow, everything's way off since we installed the BC coilovers and before that anyways, it was way off. So we're going to go over to Tire Kingdom in Ormond Beach, get this thing aligned. Hopefully we can start hooking and having a lot more fun with the car. So imagine that you were hearing the awesome cold start that you're used to. We're going to go ahead and jump on into the video. We only lost audio on like three clips, but I just wanted to fill you in here. We actually ran out of gas, had to fill up with 93 octane. Matt had to push the car, which was super funny. I wish we had audio, but anyways, we're going to go ahead and jump over to Tire Kingdom in Ormond Beach. They have a low in-ground uh, alignment rack uh, so you can get the car on there and they uh, do a lot of lowered cars to get them dialed in so they have the patience to do it. So let's go ahead and head over. So this is the last clip we lost audio on. As you can see, we are at Tire Kingdom in Ormond Beach. And if we look here at the front, we're actually rubbing quite a bit. So the BC coilovers came with pretty much no camber up front. And we could have adjusted before, but we didn't expect that to really be like that. We wanna get some camber in there to try to avoid it. If not, raise up the front. The rear actually looks pretty good. All right, so we got some good news for getting this aligned which basically means so it is way off so if you look at camber we have so much camber in the rear um, so that's good news for us trying to get this thing to hook um, with the alignment being off and the car also drives really funky and you can clearly see from this it's gonna drive really really weird so hopefully we can get it looking a little better all right, so we just finished up. Uh, we weren't able to raise the front, so I'm actually gonna do that and come back. And the camber adjustment is kind of hidden behind the strut tower. So it's a little bit difficult to get at. So I'm actually gonna raise the front and come back to get the front aligned in, but we actually pulled so much camber out of the rear. Um, basically minus 0.4, minus 0.7 in the rear. Um, got the toe set. Pretty much this should hook up once we get a tire on it. That hooks the rear tire is pretty much toasted at this point but shout out to the guys here um, i'm gonna bring it back get the front done but the rear should help a lot to drive it because that rear looks so much better now we are on like pretty much done tires but uh those are four star m14s oh 840 <laughs> yeah just a little bit <laughs> but uh thanks to the guys who uh at tire kingdom i always have a hard time finding guys that one have a uh you know a level drive on lift um, in ground and then um, obviously to be able to fit the uh, alignment thing around the wheels because a lot of the newer shops they have the ones that wrap around the tire and that doesn't work with a low car like this so they have the ones that go around the edge of the rim which works um, and they obviously were patient to get an aftermarket lowered car dialed in so if you guys need anything brandon at tire kingdom just tell them i sent you to them and i'm gonna come back get the front fixed up and I think we might go over to the shop and maybe fix AC on this thing today. Depends what Matt, Matt thinks. So far, so good. Uh, we've been kind of driving around. Uh, since we had to put 93 in it, I've uh, been trying to get rid of the 93. Uh, so we're actually gonna stop by Zach's, um, pick up some things and possibly raise the car a little bit um, to kind of dial in where we want the uh, suspension. So we're gonna go check in with Zach. All right, so I told Zach I wanted to raise the car. And he knows, here's the thing, Andrew <laughs> knows damn well that's against my religion. I don't raise cars. So instead, we're gonna throw some camber at it because that's really yeah, all Well, we, ac we actually, we're pretty much like 0, 0.00, which is not what we want. We actually no. want a little bit of camber up like front. Like negative one would be decent. Yeah. So. Oh, I do, and have an, I do have an app that will like give us a general idea. I can place the phone on the wheel and then so it'll be it'll be pretty even to both sides yep. and then they said i can bring it back for alignment for the front anyways that'll work 
And yeah. Then, and if anyone's wondering, banana is here. I'm eventually gonna clean it up. Um, the interior, a lot of the body panels are kind of just like falling off from the aggressive from, drifting. Well, and from the <laughs> ant incident. Oh, that's true. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. Um, Wes and I were pretty geeking out. Yeah. So dying from that. So I'm gonna clean that up. Yeah, man. And then she'll be ripping. She'll be ready for sale. Yeah. For sale, 15k OBO. Yeah. Hang my line. Hell yeah. <laughs> So what we're gonna do, since it's kind of hard to access um, yeah, the our camber adjustment, so what we're yeah, there's four Allen keys, um, and the Allen key can't fit in there. So what I'm gonna do is just do four. Yeah, get some access. We'll yep. put some paint on it so it doesn't rust. Yeah, and um, she'll be mint. it'll just be way more functioning. Absolutely. Let's do it. Zach likes cut. It, this is because Zach didn't want to raise the car. That's exactly right. It's well, against my religion. Yeah. Very perfect, nice, dude. very nice. Perfect hole. One down, three to go. We're ruining it. YouTube commenters, I can see it now. <laughs> dude, they're gonna be like, stop hanging out with that Camaro guy. <laughs> <laughs> they're not wrong. Yeah. All right, we'll check back in with the final result. All right, so I'd say that's pretty successful. That's right. Put uh, four glory holes in the top hat, and then we were able to basically just put them all the way to the max setting for negative camber. And you can see it's really not crazy. Yeah, now we have clearance. I mean, obviously we have a uh, you know wrap that's all kind of torn up, but yeah. that's all good. And compared to over here, you can see that the tire is pretty much sitting on the fender, and our desired camber is actually one point negative one point five degrees. And we are actually pretty close to zeroed out, or were. Now we're probably pretty close to that, and we can go back to get the alignment and toe completely dialed in on the front. Yeah, buddy. Shout out to the guys over at Tire Kingdom. It's so hard to find someone who will align like a low car like this. You know I got the low car friendly plug. Yes, sir. So if you guys do need an alignment, hit those guys up. Tell them we sent you. I have more cars to bring over there now, too. So cool beans all right now we have perfect access that's to right. our camber adjustment mm -hmm. so i know there's going to be some people saying you know why are you cutting into the car but i mean we plan to do a lot keep this car for a long time and if this makes it easier to get access to our suspension adjustments i mean it just makes sense plus we're going to do rubber grommets so it's going to look factory af yep I don't think it looks bad either way. I mean, yeah, that's that doesn't look bad. So clean it up, make it look good, and then it's it's just really functioning. It's basically gussets, you know. I'm basically a fabricator. That's it. <laughs> so now we're just gonna pop our camera adjustment in. Oh yeah. So now we'll have more clearance when you look at that wheel. Clearance, clearance. Then once we go back to get alignment, they'll dial in the camber, you know, dead on. For now, we're just eyeballing it. And we should be good to go. All right, so 93 octane lasted a total of a few hours. We only put a little bit in, but we are loading the E85 tune back in, burnt out the rest of the 93. And I think tomorrow we'll put some different tires on and see if we can actually hook up. These tires are pretty much gone, but we'll still see if the car hooks up or at least kind of goes straight because the suspension's kind of been a little whack in this car for a while, so should be much better now. All right, we got the E85 in the car and our gas can. Tune is loaded. Give it a few seconds of idle time and send it on out here. You think it's gonna hook? Yeah. I mean, we're on bald radials, but.
still so straight. I mean, we're, we're literally on ball drag radials, but we're kind of hooking. I think the alignment just made it so much better. Um, once we get a tire, like an actual tire that has tread on it, I think this thing is just gonna hook and book. Cause I haven't felt this car feel that fast in a long time. So that is pretty awesome. but it may when we get a good tire on it or may get close but as soon as I mean we we're in second we spun a little bit into second and then we hooked up and it's going straight which this car hasn't done that in a long time so it feels really good all right so we got the alignment yesterday and I didn't want to cut off the video but we actually have the drag pack on the car right now uh, my welds for the GT500 up front and we got a Mickey Thompson bias fly and this thing is going straight and it's hooking up. So let's just go ahead and test it, right? Ready and... Found some blood rush there. <laughs> the car looks up. It is gnarly. Um, it's never gone like this freaking straight before. So I'm actually really excited. So I don't know if I'll give you any other polls, but I guess we'll see. 